This video is sponsored by Kicker Man. Oh, oh, look at that! Look at that fat arm! Okay, what's so the tricep shelf. Kicker Man. Sponsored to Riders. Seriously though. Remember guys, cars make you fat. So the question is, let's get serious now. Uh, someone said that we brought you water for a book. And, you know, I hear a lot of differences about uh, sugars, refined sugars. What's the deal? You know, should I lose them for weight loss? What's the... Essentially, let's what's the fucking question. Now, a lot of people in the world get offended when I swear or say it matter of motherfucking factly. Because we, we're in a world where people are like, hey, what's up? Hey, my name's fucking Dillbag Ditzbrain, and I'm going to be really fake and shiny to you, but in real life, I'd be like shaking your hand and have my fucking, I'd be shaking, smiling like that for the selfie, and in my head, I'm going, just hurry up, fuck off, what you do. And that's the reality of the world we live in today, especially social media. So many motherfucking fakers out there. I call them like the, the, the handbag Zoella basics. Doesn't make it bad people, but it, what happens is when people like myself come along and say some fucking truth and tell you how you need to hear it, you're like, oh, you're crazy. You're angry. You're aggressive. No, I'm just not fake, and I don't do Hollywood. Excuse me for being me. Anyway, so there's refined sugar, good or bad for weight loss. Depends what your goal is, man. What's your goal? If your goal is to get fitter, then yeah, you've got to have refined sugar. If your goal is to get leaner, then yeah, you've got to have refined sugar to get fitter. Show me one fruitarian out there who's really fit, who doesn't have refined sugar. None of them. No one. Even when I was like fruitarian, yes, I was very lean, but I wasn't as ripped as I am now. I wasn't as fast or as strong or have as much stamina or work ethic I had now. People, and look, look here's an example. And now again, not hating, look at Fully Well Christina. Has no refined sugar. But I wouldn't call her fat, that she would call herself overweight. I definitely think she looks good. But if you compare against someone like Freely, most girls are chasing Freely's leanness. And it doesn't make Freely a better person. This is just different body compositions. But let's just hypothetically have Christina, who, have no, who I've known for personally since 2006 when we first hanged out, known her for 10 years. People are falling out there, that's another story. But let's look at physiologically speaking. Very clean, pure diet. Raw food, 100% diet. And she's not exactly stick figure thin. And doesn't have to find with that. But she doesn't have any refined sugar. And then you've got someone like Freely, who smashes in the Sprite, and the, the vegan sports drinks and the gels and the stuff like that. And Freely is like, we and Freely battled to keep weight on. Because we do like doing sport. And people say, well, I don't want to do sport. Well, then you're going to have a floppy body, aren't you? <laughs> you're going to have what's called fat skinny. So you won't have the tone. You'll just have like an arm the same definition, the same size, diameter. But they won't have the definition. You won't be able to see the, the sinew and the, the tendons and the, you know what I mean? You'll just be fat skinny versus having some tone. You'll be one of those girls who has like a, a pancake butt versus a peach butt. Now, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it depends what your goal is. So I would recommend having refined sugar definitely. If your goal is to have a fit, tighter, more taut body relative to your genetics, then refined sugar is your friend. Why? It'll help you train harder, longer, and faster, and recover quicker. Now, I've done a lot of drugs in my time, in my years. Not a lot of volume of drugs, but a lot of different types of drugs. And I will tell you what, the most powerful drug for weight loss, in my opinion, is sugar. More powerful than clenbuterol. Much more powerful than clenbuterol. Why? Because what does clenbuterol do? It lets you train motherfucking harder. What are the testosterone and a lot of anabolics do? They let you train motherfucking harder. But nothing, my friends, will let you train harder than refined sugar. And if you add that refined sugar to your rice, to your fruit with some fiber and stuff like that, man, that is some powerful shit. Refined sugar is more, that is like the best performance enhancing drug on the planet. But it's not even a drug, it's a nutrient. Obviously, if you combine the sugars with the drugs, you'll get insane results. But we're not going for that because we know that taking all those drugs long term, it'll just fuck up your own hormone systems and endocrine systems, etc. And you start playing with your thyroid and your pituitary and all that stuff. Even though most girls are being on steroids for years, contraceptive pill, and that's, that's really unfortunate because it definitely slows in the progress. If you're on the pill, that's got to be damaging your body for life. Um, and it, it, you'll never have as good results as if you never took it. That's just 100% fact. Can you still get amazing results? Yes, you can. But your body will always be DNA changed from taking steroids. The contraceptive pill is a sex steroid. But can you get amazing results for sure? Look at Freely. She was in the pill. She got results. But it did take her a lot longer. than let's say we had someone who... Uh, when she was 27, we hooked up, 
it should never take the pill, her results will get a lot faster. What I'm trying to say is that refined sugar is excellent. Have refined sugar. When freely added refined sugar, she got leaner because she got faster. And when you get faster, you get you look you look fitter, man. Even Ted Carr, when well, I was we were making fun of him last year at the festival and how slow he was, but he was very lightweight. And we're just like, you know, like yeah. But then he started having refined sugar and he's like fruit juice and the fructose syrup and that, and his performance just went Poof! next level, and he got a little bit leaner. So same with Mike Arnstein, the fruitarian, started having the, the cliff gels and stuff like that. Boom. Performance went up. So fruit is excellent, really good for weight loss. But I would add in some refined sugar into your rice, into your fruit, and watch you go next fucking level. Again, there's people out there, so no, they're not, they don't train people. Or they're lying scumbags who are on steroids and saying, I'm this like Kino body and Guzman, all these motherfuckers out there who, who claim they get all these amazing results from their diet or fucking training guide, but it's anabolic steroids. If they didn't take them, there's no way they would have the following or the aesthetics they do today. 100%. The aesthetics they have are steroid derived, anabolic steroid derived. There's no question that I put my life on that. So when I can give you honest insight, I can look in the camera and say that 100% you can get the results of being a leaned, greyhound looking person. You might be five foot tall, you might be seven foot tall, but everyone is genetically designed to be slim and lean. All right? 100%, you can get the results me and freely got. Leanness. You won't become, if, you're, if you're five foot, you won't become six foot like me. Huh? And if you're six foot, you won't become five foot. But you can be lean, is what I'm trying to say. Refined sugar is definitely your friend. It'll help you train harder, train longer, recover faster. And that's how the drugs work, all the steroids and stuff people take, is it lets you train harder and recover faster. But I don't recommend taking the drugs. I recommend eating clean diet, cutting out the oils, Cutting out the animal products. If you're underweight, add oil in. Definitely. If you're underweight, have more oil, have more fats. If you've got weight to lose, no overt fats. Just refined sugar with your white rice. Lots of fruit. Fruits and veggies. Lots and lots of fresh fruit. And and raw till four. Fruit for breakfast and lunch, ideally. And then rice, potatoes, corn for dinner. And put some sugar in there. Don't be scared of the sugars. My favorite sugar, I don't mean on the table, is organic. Organic refined sugar is the best because I like to support organic farmers. People can disagree with this all they want, but hey, mate, none of their girlfriends ever look like Freely, do they? Or without doing some crazy starvation or drugs. No one ever got a fat girl. When Freely got together with me, she was 73 kilos. So the advice I give, the advice Freely gives, is not based on a book we fucking read. Now, again, not hating on vegan gains, but he just read, he just gets PubMed and he's just like, my name's Vegan Gaines, and uh, the pub med, so he does it. He doesn't, he just reads. He doesn't live it. He doesn't personify it. Freely's personified it. I personify it. We got results together, and we can share with you these results. Get a copy of our ebooks. Watch how fuck, I'll go over 3,000 videos, man, free information. Read my Tumblr. If you want to consolidate it, get a copy of our ebooks. This shit motherfucking works, man. Refined sugar is, I would say, if you hang out with me long enough, you're going to be a refined sugar addict and you're going to get insane results, man. Start with one to 200 grams a day of adding refined sugar into your food. No oil. No oil. Okay? No animal product. 100% vegan. And watch your performance go up. 100 to 200 grams of sugar a day. Floss your teeth at night. But that's, that goes for any diet. People say, what about, look, like, you should always be flossing. I mean, I never got told to floss. I started flossing when I was 35. Always fucking floss every night. And watch your mood change as well. When you cut the fat, increase the sugar, you increase the sweetness of life. Now that sounds fucking corny and vegan cheesy, but it's serious. When you have more sugar, more fruits in your life, you're just more of a sweeter person then. And a lot of the fruitarians or these people who are really fake online, but in real life they're like harsh, that they really don't have much sweetness in their life. They don't. I mean, I might look like an asshole on camera, but if you hang out with me, I'm a pretty chill guy. A lot of people act all this shiny shit, but in real life, they're corporate motherfuckers. <laughs> because they don't have enough sweetness in their life. Their fruit they eat, they bite into it, and it's like, hey, this is really tasty, but it's not. It's, that peach is fucking unripe, and it tastes like fucking flour. Or they cut up the mango, and it's tart. But because they're fruitarian purists, they have no other option. Get the sweetness in your life. Have your fruit, have your rice, have your corn, have your starches, have your refined sugar. I do prefer organic refined sugar. Start with one to 200 grams a day. Watch what happens to your life. No oil. No oil. Again, unless you're underweight, then have the oil.